so now we shall be discussing another important topic that is in the food region there are two retinaculas one is called extensor retinaculum another one is called as flexor retinaculum so we shall see what are the structures of extensor as well as flexor retinaculum okay so first we shall discuss about extensor retinaculum and next we shall discuss about flexor retinaculum so here first of all let me draw the bone here so this bone which you see here this is your tibia bone okay and after that here you have got your fibula bone so this is your fibula bone okay and this is the leg this is the medial malleolus and this is the lateral malleolus So this is your foot okay now if you clearly look here guys here you can find a retinaculum all the way coming from the lateral malleolus and by the way see this one over here is your medial malleolus okay and this one over here is your lateral malleolus medial as well as lateral malleolus now all of you look here from the lateral malleolus right so from the lateral malleolus all the way till here you see a retinaculum over here right so this retinaculum is an extensor retinaculum but it is on the top so this is called a superior extensor retinaculum so when i tell superior extensor retinaculum there should be in inferior extensor retinaculum so all of you look here this retinaculum which you can see this is your inferior extensor retinaculum So this one over here is your inferior extensor retinaculum. Okay, so this one over here is your inferior extensor retinaculum. So we have got one as a superior extensor retinaculum. This is your superior extensor retinaculum and the next one we have got is a inferior extensor retinaculum now in this inferior extensor retinaculum also you have got two bands which is on the top is called upper band which is on the lower part is called lower band so this one will be called as your upper band upper band and this is called as your lower band okay one is called as upper band and the other one is called as lower band so we shall see from medial malleolus okay from the medial malleolus till the lateral malleolus what are the structures that are located one by one okay so first important structure what we shall see is that you see there is a green color line that is coming all the way down and this line is going to the toe like this right so this is called as t okay la later on i'll i'll tell you the names here so first important thing this is called as tibialis anterior okay so let me just write it as t and later on i'll tell you the names okay so here this one stands for tibialis anterior muscle okay just side to this tibialis anterior muscle you have got another muscle all the way down like this okay so this muscle which you can see here this muscle is i'm telling it by name h okay so this is nothing but called as extensor hallucis longus okay this is an extensor anterior group of the leg is are all extensors only right so it is attached to the hallux hallux matlab the toe i think if you have seen my lecture on the muscles of anterior compartment of leg this would be really easy so watch that and then come back again here okay so don't directly watch this lecture so here you have got extensor hallucis longus now just side to this extensor hallucis longus here you have got an artery you see this artery over here is called as anterior tibial artery okay this artery over here is called as anterior tibial artery just side to this artery you have got a nerve which i'm drawing it with a yellow color over here right so this nerve over here is called as deep peroneal nerve see this nerve which you can see here is called as deep peroneal nerve okay this nerve over here is called as deep peroneal nerve after the deep peroneal nerve 
Next, you have got another muzzle all the way coming, and these tendons are literally fixed into all the digits like this, right? So this one is called as extensor of because it is extensor muzzle. It is attached to the digits, right? See, fifth, fourth, third, and second digit. So digitorum, and the tendons are long, so longus. So extensor digitorum longus. And finally, we have uh, come across the last one, which is coming all the way like this. This is called as peroneus tertius. Okay. So if we zoom into this, if we zoom into this, how many structures are there? So here we have got one. This is two. This is three, four, five, as well as six structures. So what are those six structures from medial to lateral? We will see. Okay. So from the medial side. All the way till the lateral side. Okay, what are the structures? I'll just give you a mnemonic. Just remember that. So the the mnemonic is tall hand, tall handed people. So people who are not only having tall legs, but also you have to consider people who are having tall hands. Okay, so tall handed people. So what are these tall handed people here? So T. T stands for the first one I told you anterior tibial muscle, right? Tibialis anterior, tibialis anterior, tibialis anterior. Okay. Next H. H stands for extensor hallucis longus. Extensor hallucis longus. Extensor hallucis longus. A starts for an artery, and that artery is your anterior tibial artery. Right, so this is called as your anterior tibial artery. Okay, now after this anterior tibial artery, you have got a nerve, and that is called as deep peroneal nerve. Deep peroneal nerve. Okay, and after that, again you have got D. D stands for extensor digitorum longus. Extensor. Digitorum longus and finally P stands for peroneus tertius. I hope you know what why it is called peroneus tertius because it is third peroneal muscle. Okay, peroneus tertius. So these are the structures that are located all the way from the medial end to the lateral end. So these are the structures which you need to remember regarding this extensor retinaculum. Okay. Now after this. The next important thing we shall be discussing is the anterior tibial artery. So, what is the course? What are the branches it is giving, and all? Okay. So, first of all, let me finish up the picture over here. So, let us say that this is your tibia bone. This is your tibia bone, and after that, you have got your fibula bone. Okay. So this is your tibia and this is your fibula. And all of you know that in between the tibia and fibula, you have got this membrane called as interosseous membrane, right? Between tibia and fibula, you have got this membrane called as interosseous membrane. And uh, next important thing, next important thing is, let me draw the leg as well. So this is your medial malleolus. This is your lateral malleolus, right? So this is how it goes. Right. So this is how it goes. Now here, exactly down here, you have got a bone, right? And this is called as metatarsal. So how many metatarsals we have got? We have got five metatarsals. So this is the first metatarsal which I'm drawing here. All of you look. This is the first metatarsal. Just below the first metatarsal, you have got phalange. So these are the two phalanges which you see. Okay. Right. Or else, let me little bit modify the picture over here. This is the picture, right? Now, all of you know, I told you previously that posteriorly we have got popliteal artery. This popliteal artery, after coming out of the popliteal fossa, it will give two branches. One stays on the back only, that is called as posterior tibial artery. One pierces this interosseous membrane and comes to the front like this, right? So, this artery is called as anterior tibial artery, right? So, this anterior tibial artery is coming down all the way, and this anterior tibial artery gives two branches like this. 
okay so one branch is to the lateral malleolus one branch is to the medial malleolus so that is why this is called as anterior lateral malleolar artery anterior medial malleolar artery okay so this one over here is anterior medial malleolar artery and this one is anterior lateral malleolar artery okay now after giving these branches what will happen is that this artery comes down a little bit and again it gives this artery comes down a little bit and again it gives two branches okay so what are these two branches one branch one branch you called as medial tarsal artery another one is called as lateral tarsal artery so this one is medial tarsal artery and this one is lateral tarsal artery okay now after giving these tarsal branches this is going to come down all the way and this will make an arch like this okay now before it is making an arch this will give one branch all the way that is supplying to this region now this artery is called as first dorsal metatarsal artery so this one is called as first dorsal metatarsal artery and next it is making an arch now from this arch there are branches that are coming one two and three so these branches they divide like this okay so what are these branches if this is first dorsal metacarpal artery then the remaining branches will be second third and fourth isn't it so these are second third as well as fourth metatarsal arteries second third as well as fourth metatarsal artery so these these are the branches of the anterior tibial artery okay right now we shall discuss another important topic that is flexor retinaculum so just now we discussed about extensor retinaculum and now we shall continue discussing flexor retinaculum flexor retinaculum okay so in this flexor retinaculum what are the important things first of all let me draw the foot and then we shall look at the flexor retinaculum right now here uh, let me draw some bones over here so that it would be easy for you let us say that this bone over here is called as your tibia bone okay so just beneath the tibia here you have got another bone and this is called as a talus just in front of the talus here you have got a bone and this is called as a navicular bone so navicular ke samne this is another bone this is called as medial cuneiform bone okay so just beneath the medial cuneiform here you have got this one is called as the metatarsal right so this is called as a metatarsal and this is called as the proximal phalange this is called as a proximal phalange and after that this one is called as a distal phalange okay so let me write down these names first of all so this is your tibia and after the tibia this bone over here is called as your talus and after the talus this bone over here you call it as navicular bone okay and after navicular this one over here is called as your medial cuneiform medial cuneiform and here this one is called as your first metatarsal i'm just writing it as mt which means first metatarsal and here you have got a proximal phalange and this one is called as a distal phalange so proximal phalange first metatarsal talus as well as the navicular bone now all of you know that here we have got a bone in the heel region this bone is called as calcaneus this is called as calcaneus now coming down all the way from the medial malleolus see this is a talus this is a tibia bone and tibia bone is having mm mm stands for medial malleolus 
from the medial mandibular till the calcaneus you have got this retinaculum over here and this retinaculum is called as flexor retinaculum okay so let us see what are the structures that are passing beneath the flexor retinaculum now go going on with the first structure now this structure is coming down all the way right and it is all the way going and inserting to your navicular bone now this structure is called as tibialis posterior i will write down the structures later on but just listen to the names so this one is number 1 and this is tibialis posterior now after this you see a pink color structure now this structure is coming down all the way and it is going and inserting to your first metatarsal like right so this is the second structure and what is the name of this structure this is called as flexor digitorum longus okay not extensor because we are right now mentioning the flexor retinaculum flexor retinaculum is located below if this is the foot so what are the structures which are present here these are extensors what are the structures that are present here these are flexors this topic is done now we are discussing about the flexors so if there is extensor digitorum longus here it will be flexor digitorum longus okay and third important thing so third important thing is this one you have got a structure all the way like this right so this is called as posterior tibial artery because anteriorly we have got anterior tibial artery so here it will be posterior tibial artery right and anteriorly we have got a nerve called as common peroneal nerve so posteriorly here we have got we will get a nerve in the flexor region and that is called as tibial nerve okay so here we have got a nerve that is coming down and this nerve number 4 over here is called as a tibial nerve and finally finally here we have got another structure that is coming all the way down and this goes all the way and inserts to the distal phalange over here okay and this is called as flexor hallucis longus this is called as flexor because on the plantar surface we are discussing the flexor area and it is attached to the toe so you called as hallucis and the tendon is long so you called as longus so flexor hallucis longus okay so what are the structures that are located so first important structure first important structure i'll give you a mnemonic also first important structure is your tibialis posterior tibialis posterior second important structure is flexor digitorum longus okay third important structure is posterior tibial artery and fourth important structure is tibial nerve and fifth important structure is flexor hallucis longus flexor hallucis longus right flexor hallucis longus now how do you remember this remember like this that top doctors are are never happy so top doctors are always never happy so t stands for tibialis posterior doctors here d stands for digitorum flexor digitorum longus and are r stands for an artery called posterior tibial artery and never n stands for a nerve called as tibial nerve and h here happy stands for hallucis longus